Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here. It is June 28th. We are a week away from Guardian Con. And if you see me at Guardian Con, please come say hello. I'll have my shirt on, so hopefully you'll know be be able to find me, but I'll be out there for a couple days and then a couple after kind of doing some personal stuff. So a little mini vacay on top of things. But yeah, Guardian Con's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to meeting a lot of people. Hopefully meet some of you out there. Should be a really great time. The biggest thing, just be decent. Wear deodorant. Have some decent hygiene and don't approach people in awkward places. Make it reasonable and it should be a good time for all. But it is June 28th. We are here for Xur in the tower. So let's see what this gentleman has to offer. The nine show you these. So we've always got the faded engram still confirmed to be getting you exotics through for, excuse me, Forsaken, but not the annual pass stuff. So stuff like One-Eyed Mask and Chromatic Fire can drop from here. And remember, if you're missing something and Xur is selling it, Buy it here first because it's always cheaper as well as the spending 97 shards and potentially getting something worse. So, uh, Faded Ingram through Forsaken Exotics but not Annual Pass stuff. And then you've got the Five of Swords, your challenge card. If you need Nightfall modifiers like Arc Singe or Match Game or anything like that for your Nightfall scores. For the gear, we have the Exotic Pulse Rifle Vigilance Wing. This had its heyday at a point. This and Graviton Lance were basically kind of duking it out in PvP. For a point, um, it's not quite as high. It's still a solid pulse rifle, though. It really is. Five-round burst, decent at medium range. You can pump out a lot of bullets. It's pretty quick. Uh, when a nearby ally is killed, gain health regeneration and increase movement speed. I wouldn't really bet on that perk. It's nice to get it when it procs, but generally, just the five-round burst, it's just a solid workhorse pulse rifle more often than anything. Last stand, improved weapon performance and greatly increased recovery when its wielder is the last li living member of a fire team. Probably not going to happen a whole lot in, like, quick play, but maybe something like um, competitive, for example. I'm not sure this is, like, top of the competitive meta, but, you know, if you love this pulse rifle, I guess that's a little extra perk for you as well. It's got some cool ornaments to it, but overall, just a pretty cool gun to use. For our armor, Hunters, we've got the Stompies. These are the Jumpy Boots. Now, they look kind of cool. Love how you can actually see all of them now. Perks are not the greatest on this one, but... These are probably more for exploration or just kind of mobility more than anything. Increased sprint speed and slide distance. You just have that all the time. Improves high jump, strafe jump, and triple jump. So as hunters are typically a lot more mobile, it's getting that triple jump hovering in the air up over a door, a little more height out of those jumps, a little more boost. And also if you're going to explore and try and, you know, break the game basically and go look for stuff, these are good for it too. Perks, unfortunately, auto rifle dexterity. Fusion Rifle Dexterity and Perpetuation. That one's not bad because Hunters dodge all the time anyway. But Scout Rifle and Sidearm Scavenger, these are pretty low on the totem pole in the grand scheme. So not the best perks, but if you don't have them, still may as well add them to your collection because they look cool and you never know when you're going to need that extra jump height. For the Titans, we've got one Ed Mask. While it did get a little bit of a nerf, it's still pretty good. Um, just because it's weird looking doesn't mean it doesn't actually have a good function. So Vengeance marks the enemy that dares to damage you. So if you get damaged while wearing this... You will mark that person. You can see where they're at kind of out on your screen. It's kind of really, really nice. So if you're running this or you're, or if you hit somebody and then you see you're marked for vengeance, hide. Don't go attack them again until you're out of their, you know, line of sight so you don't just, like, they know where you are and they know when you're going to peek. Track down and destroy your enemy for increased damage and over shield. So I know some shotgun apes will use this, or at least that's the terminology I've heard. Um... Basically, you're just getting kills. Somebody's damaging you. You take that kill. You get an overshield. You keep running. Now you're harder to kill, and you've got increased damage. You guys kind of see where this is going. It's an effective one in PvP. Now, it's not quite quite as crazy powerful. It got a bit of an adjustment, but I still think it's better than a lot of Titan Exotics for PvP especially. So if you don't have this one, I would definitely pick it up. The perks are pretty good, too. Bow targeting, if you're enjoying your hush. Hand cannon targeting. Lots of hand cannons in this game. We're about to get one more. Remote connection. Super energy on sniper rifle kills. Fusion Rifle Reserves, and of course, Sniper Rifle Reserves. Those are pretty decent, both of them pretty useful. Finally, we've got Chromatic Fire here for the Warlocks. Crystalline Transistor. Precision kills with your kinetic weapon create an explosion in the elements of your equipped subclass. So those of you guys who enjoy Chromatic Fire, leave a comment below. Let me know what kinetic weapons you like using this with. Is it a sniper? Is it Ace of Spades? Is it Arbalist? Like, there's some interesting choices to use with Chromatic Fire for those explosions. So let me know in the comments, like, what are your favorite ones to use with this robe? Kind of curious what you guys enjoy uh, blowing stuff up with. 
but basically, yeah, it's just like having Dragonfly on a kinetic weapon, and the explosion matches your subclass type. So if I'm running solar, and I use, you know, my go figure, I would be getting a solar explosion on precision kills. So Dragonfly is always fun. Get that little extra explosion. Got unflinching auto rifle aim, hand cannon aim, never bad. Kinetic aim, still just all kinetic weapons, but not as specifically powerful as these. And you got sidearm and submachine gun reserves. At least submachine gun might help with recluse, but sidearms, man, those need some love. Uh, but that is about it for Zur this week. So let me know your thoughts below, guys, which exotic. Uh, if you get the faded engram, let me know which one you get from it. I'm kind of curious what drops you guys are seeing, what you still need, what you're going for. And other than that, um, all the help you guys do is awesome. So the channel keeps growing. If you haven't subbed yet, please do so. Always helps. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If somebody wants is sitting at their desk and wants to know what Zur has, send this video to them. Share it with them. But you guys know where to find me. It's Twitch and Twitter. Ebontis on both. If you're at GuardianCon, hit me up on Twitter. That's probably where I'll be doing most of my communication. And I'm looking forward to having fun, meeting a lot of people out there. It should be a great time. So enjoy your week. If you're going to GuardianCon, have fun. Come by. Say hello if you see me. And other than that, I look forward to just kind of the coming weeks and can't wait for September. So Destiny's in a good spot and it keeps going. So I'll see you soon. Have a good weekend and enjoy.